Welcome to Up, Up, Down, Down. We have a special guest here for you today. WWE's Stardust. Welcome to the Menagerie of Madness, the Labyrinth of Lust, the Keep of Chaos. I'm not your host, Stardust. Whew. Uh, this is a superstar save point, by the way. We're gonna learn a little bit. Everyone has a nickname. Sitting behind you is Milo. Right here, Austin Creed. <laughs> what would you like for your nickname oh, to be? I wasn't uh, prepared. <laughs> you can think. You can think. You've got some time. It TBD. Yes. TBD. 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 We got access to the Star Wars Battlefront, so we're gonna play because I know that this man who's traveled the galaxy. Traveled light years to be here with us today. He's got a wealth of knowledge because I'm pretty sure you were you were at some of these battles, were you not? You saw them this firsthand. This is science fiction. Ah. I am science fact. <laughs> Did you know the term Ewok is never actually used in the movies? Really? Literally. Never. Never. It is in the credits only. No one says Fat Ewok. <laughs> Those Ewoks. Dead Ewok. <laughs> Dead Ewok. Nothing. That it's not in the movie. You're part of the Rebel Alliance and a traitor. Take it away. We got blasters. We got blasters. And we start here. <laughs> Those tracks are side by side. Sand people always walk single file so as to hide their numbers. Did you know? He knows so much about Star Wars. Okay, how did you learn so much about Star Wars? Star Wars is my favorite movie. Favorite movie or favorite movie? Empire Strikes Back is my favorite movie what? of all time. Why is and that? And I will fight a man, <laughs> fist fight a man who says otherwise. <laughs> Took some creative liberties with that rocket launcher. Wait, what? Done. Got it. <laughs> Meatloaf in the back. Meatloaf. TBD. First time on Above Down Down. First time. Now, okay, so Empire Strikes Back. How would you rank the movies? Do you do you count them being oh, six movies? Oh, have you ever heard of the machete cut? No. Oh, you don't know? No. It's how you tell a newbie to the series to watch. It's I, I don't recommend it. I say have the courage to watch them from the prequels and up. Yeah. Love them all. What's the what's the what, explain this machete thing? The machete to me. cut. Machete is that you watch A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back. Go back! Skip oh, no. episode one entirely. No. Watch episodes two and three, and then watch Return of the Jedi! And I am getting shocked. I got you. Wave two, done! <laughs> Beta is extremely easy. <laughs> I shot one man, one trooper. <laughs> and these blast points, too accurate for sand people. Yeah? Right? I'm talking about who burned them. You know, his aunt and uncle and the blue milk? You know what I'm talking about? No! <laughs> the drinking blue milk in the movie. Also, the voice of the female is dubbed over from the original voice. What? Why? Because they didn't like that actress, I assume, or they didn't want to pay her. Ah, the green, paper, the green, you know? the green. Didn't want to give her the cash. What's the deal with the Han shot first thing? It's I know, a, I know he shot first in the real movie and they changed it. It will go on for, for years and years and years and millennia to come. Chicken Walker! <laughs> ATST! <laughs> knock him down! <laughs> this is why we have to have you on because. I, <laughs> he, my gosh! <laughs> it's gotta take everything. Oh, Boom. pod defended. We defended the pod. Chicken Walker, down. Akbar talking. Akbar talking. Oh! <laughs> What other weird Star Wars things are there? Because I didn't know about this, uh... Bert Reynolds was going to play Han Solo. And what happened? He, they couldn't afford him. Ah, he wanted that money. Do you George think... George Lucas does not allow David Prowse or Prose, the original actor, to don the Darth Vader suit to come to anything official because he finds him annoying. What? That is a real thing. That's... Stormtrooper! <laughs> Have you seen the ultimate blooper of bloopers, the Stormtrooper hitting his head? No. Oh, it's a treat. Which, which movie is this? Is this, this an is Empire? This is A New Hope. When C-3PO and R2-D2 are hiding <clears throat> while the others are in the trash dump. And then the Stormtrooper hits his head and they didn't edit it and out. And they did not edit it out. Perfect. See, I love stuff like that. Oh, wait, wait for it! Ah! Get in, Milo, get in! Ah! Oh! 
So I the way that you talk How about do you these, feel? I feel great right now. You can impregnate people like that <laughs> on Nebulon. Shot at him in the back. <laughs> oh yeah, villain. Uh, it's just melee, melee uh, his stupid face. Get out of here. <laughs> He's got a shield. He's got it. Break get it. Back up. You just shoot him enough. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Five done. Wave five. <laughs> so I would be pregnant right now if we were on, on Nebulon. Nebulon. So can you impregnate men that way on Nebulon? It's different there. There's three different types of species. Such as? You can tell them apart by their nipples, the shape. Triangle the nipples, oval nipples, the other nipple. It's a whole race war regarding nipples. What's the other nipple? I'm actually, I'm actually referencing a Rick and Morty sketch. Okay, fair I enough. Don't have the, I don't have the full deeds on it. Which I just learned about a little bit ago. Rick and Morty? No, I mean, I knew about it, but I didn't watch it because I'm stuck watching Crunchyroll. Please give us that, that, come on, come on. Defend sponsor, sponsor Defend us. I got, I got, I got, got the pod. Got the pod. Crunchyroll, please, Where hook your you? boy up. I watch oh, all your stuff. Oh, hello, Sandra. Hurt, hurt. Uh-oh. Bombs, bombs. Um, yeah, no, I didn't oh. watch Rick and Morty because Ooh. I was uh, not paying attention to life for some reason. And then you showed me the song. The Swifty. Oh, we won't. We can. It'll just. Do it'll be beeped. Do not. There it'll be beeped. No try. This so that's Yoda. I knew that. Mm -hmm. See, so old Yoda, who was originally played, not originally, but was going to be played by a monkey. A monkey? Yes, indeed. Why? George Lucas is an interesting feller. Interesting. How do you do? You agree with his decisions that he makes about the movie? That is one of the things that annoys me most. <laughs> is us. What, what would be? What would? Uh, pampered, selfish, self-righteous, entitled moviegoers that think we can tell George Lucas what to do or not mm -hmm. to do with movies, concepts, characters, creations he came up with. Who the f*** are we <laughs> to decide that? Nobody. He is George Lucas. And he rules. And he rules. He rules the Star Wars galaxy. Absolutely. How do you feel about Jar Jar Binks? It happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. You realize you're one of the first people in the general public to play this game? I feel... Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> Loaf, for being here. <laughs> hey, guys! Murpho's here! This is... This, that's Star Wars Battlefront. That's a survival mode. You know, checking it out. Star Wars Battlefront. You can go multiplayer, so you can go online, so we'll do another video for that. So you can see that. You just got a Star Wars lesson from one of the only intergalactical beings that we have access to. I won't say one of the only. The only. Legit. Stardust. The prince. The, the prince. prince of dark matter. Prince of dark matter. Prince of dark matter. All right. Fantastic. So that was that was up, up, down, down. Thank you for having me. Of course. Thank you for thank coming. You, loaf, Murph, man. TBD. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for coming. So with that video, like, subscribe. Uh, we're going to have some more Battlefront videos Ew! coming. Muscles. Muscles, yes. check them out. Yes. Click on those. His body suits hiding a lot, y'all. That's why you got the sleeveless now. Yeah, right. Mm. Bum, bum, bum. Mm. Pump it up. Pump it up. Yeah. So share this video with your friends. Let people know that that TBD WWE Stardust came to hang out. Watch it. Yeah, and I had to wait. He did. I had to wait. He did I wait. I wrestled it. about four hours ago. Yeah, and then I wrestled, and then ran here, and we did this. The trombone troubadour and the prince of dark matter, Murph and Meatloaf. Thank you. Very much. But no matter the circumstance, always and forever in whatever the situation, make sure that you keep it tight. That's the catchphrase. Oh. You say it. You let them know. Oh. However you, how, well, how, would, how would you what say it? What are the implications? Whatever you want them to be. Uh. <laughs> keep it tight. Yeah. Keep it Tight. Yeah, you can get a couple in there. We can. It's like a radio line. Yeah, yeah. Joe Villa, keep it tight. Yeah, there you go. That's all. Keep it tight. Keep it tight. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Keep it tight. This is all good stuff. I gotta leave. Okay. Can't leave. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, sweet. <laughs>